Dropbox takes on Google Docs with paper, Facebook is fixing some battery drain issues caused by their iOS app, YouTube Gaming gets its first major update, and more. It's Thursday, October 15th, and this is Crunch Report. Hi, everybody. Remember when Google Docs went down for a few hours last week and half the world couldn't really do their job? I was part of that world. Dropbox would like to help you out next time that happens. The company just unveiled Paper. It's a collaborative document editing platform that works in your browser. So it's basically just like Google Docs, but with your Dropbox contacts, and also without the rich text editing features or just blocks of text. Images and videos can be dropped in via a Dropbox link, as well as YouTube video links, SoundCloud songs, and other things like that. But for anybody who depends on Google Docs with their coworkers or other groups already, it's a little unclear to me who's gonna to wanna to switch everything over to live inside Dropbox, which seems more of a stripped down product. Already heavy users of Dropbox, maybe. By the way, you currently have to sign up on a waiting list to get paper, so you're stuck in Google Docs one way or another for now. Has your iPhone been mysteriously draining battery life pretty fast lately? Mine has, and I'm not crazy, and I can probably blame Facebook's iOS app for my troubles. The company has confirmed it's looking into reports of excessive battery drain caused by the app running processes in the background even when background app refresh is disabled. After multiple reports that claimed that's indeed what Facebook was doing surfaced online. TechCrunch's Roman Dier did a little test to make sure autoplay videos weren't what was to blame and that battery drain was pretty much the same whether they were on or off. And yeah, that's pretty much what he found. It's clear something is going on here though. It's a bug or some sort of feature that isn't really working very well. So until there's a fix, you can always stop killing your battery life and use mobile web Facebook or just complain about it. That's what I'll do. YouTube Gaming, which launched back in August, is a serious Twitch competitor, which lets users live stream video game play, and then of course watch other people play their video games. Today, YouTube Gaming got its first pretty big major update. You can now directly stream from Android devices using something called mobile capture. It's essentially your selfie camera capturing your face and putting it in a corner of your stream while you play a game. Users pay a monthly sponsorship subscription to support their favorite streamers. It's $3.99 compared to $4.99 each month for Twitch. Although YouTube gaming sponsorships don't remove advertisements. That'll bug a few people. You can now more easily add games to your collection, see which streams are currently live, and save videos to watch later. If you use Yahoo Mail, and I don't know that many of you, but I know there are a lot of you out there, you can now do a few cool new things in the mobile app. First, a new way to log in without a password. It's called Account Key, and it lets you log into your account by sending you a push notification on your phone, which then you select to open up the app and then say, yes, I approve this login. Yahoo also added new backup features in case you lose your phone or the battery dies. Another new feature, support for other email providers for the first time, although not Gmail and not Enterprise Outlook accounts, but yes, on personal Outlook, Hotmail, or AOL accounts. I am not judging you if you have any of these, just passing along the facts. The app also connects with Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. That helps for photos and other contact information associated with email senders. There are also better tools for photo attachments, composing an email to yourself, and better search. Good work all around, Yahoo. And now, a reality check about what's really going on in venture capital amidst constant reports of the tech bubble always just on the verge of collapsing. A new third quarter report from CB Insights and KPMG indicates that although there are fewer small seed fundings happening, it doesn't seem to be slowing down the financing rounds at the other end of the spectrum, later rounds, big high company valuations. 23 new billion dollar or more valued companies were created in the third quarter of 2015 alone, almost doubling the third quarter of 2014. Asia specifically is still showing massive funding numbers despite China's IPO shutdown. And in Europe, CB Insights says that growth is much more tempered, but it's still happening. And that, quote, the good news for Europe is it's growing seed stage activity. It should portend good things for the ecosystem as some of those companies mature. By the way, I got through this whole story without saying the word unicorn. And that is the report for today. I'm Sarah Lane. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com, on iTunes, and on YouTube as well. See you guys tomorrow.